After coming out in blatant support of communism, Kamala Harris is now openly intoxicated while rambling on about democracy and how she's going to preserve it, while after, of course, endorsing communism. And this is still the person the left is willing to lie about to the ends of the earth insisting that she is competent while simultaneously denying the existence of competence hierarchies because those are discriminatory and oppressive. Just check out this video of Kamala Harris. She can't even get out of her first sentence without laughing at her own absurdity because she knows that she's acting. She knows that she's been given these lines to repeat. When I make videos, I don't have any lines to repeat, but that's because my brain functions. Because when we think about the strength of our democracy, you know, I think that there's a duality to the nature of democracy. Guys, she's so clearly intoxicated. And look at her smirk. She starts to laugh here. It's so weird. There's a duality to the nature of democracy. When Bro, she's trying not to laugh. What is she, what is funny? What is funny right now? Look at this. That there's a duality to the nature of democracy. Right there. What is funny? She's a psychopath. She knows that what she's saying is just completely fabricated. She has no idea what she's talking about. And she's laughing at the fact that she's incompetent. She's laughing at the fact that she is supported and put in this position while being incompetent because the left is actually at war with reality. And the fact that she was chosen, even though she's the least popular person on the left to run for the presidency. Biden was one of the least popular and the left put him there. Kamala was even less popular than Biden. And now they're basically worshiping her with no regard for what actual reality says, with no regard for reason, rationality, the consequences of her actions, or the scrutiny that should come from her incompetence. We're only beginning to see a tiny bit of pushback from radical left-wing sources when she's endorsing communism blatantly. But that's about it. The left selects people because they are at war with reality. Because the left, in its Marxist presuppositions and philosophy, through its alignment with postmodernism, which wars with truth and notions of objectivity and category itself, calling those things oppression, they consider this domain that they're forced to participate in or pretend to participate in called reality to be oppression. That's the reason she's laughing right here. There's no other explanation. This is completely absurd. This is ridiculous. Look, look, she's trying not to laugh. It's bizarre. Reality to the nature of democracy, when it's intact, oh, it's so strong. Bro, this is very weird. In terms of what it does to uphold and protect individual rights and freedoms. Protect individual rights and freedoms. She just said she wants to seize patents from companies to rectify inequality and inequality of outcomes. She said verbatim, we need to establish equal outcomes. We need people to end up in the same place. Kamala Harris is endorsing the ideology that killed 60 million people. So strong in its nature. Bro, she's laughing again. Because she knows she sounds absurd. So strong in its nature. And it's absurd. This is this is a classic um, female psychopathology, which again is a predictor for willingness to abide in left-wing authoritarianism, which of course is what you're advocating for if you're advocating for communism. But this was all deliberate. She was selected because she has this feminine psychopathology, which is rooted in resentment for reality and objective frameworks and disdain for logic, reason, and rationality stemming from postmodern neo-Marxism of what I described before. Denial of any type of cogent way of viewing the world. This is the reason why leftists get enraged at debates. It's the reason why they disdain free speech. It's the reason they're easily triggered when talking about ideas because they're never practiced in engaging with ideas. They don't care about talking about ideas. They care about allegiance to the group identity, which is of course all that Marxism insists they do. Marxism and communism is all about identity. It's very fragile. Dude, she's intoxicated. Look at that. That's, th this is objectively intoxicated. She's speaking while drunk, or I I'm guessing this is alcohol. And this is very fragile. Dude, look at her face. It will only be as strong as our willingness to fight for. Okay, yeah, so this may be after some sort of fundraiser. I have no idea what's going on, but she's very clearly drunk um, talking in front of people. But again, that speaks to her incompetence, which is not a priority that's unimportant to the radical left because they actually selected her because she's incompetent. Just expanding upon that. The radical left-wing ideology actually worships their incompetence. This is Don Lemon, which is, it, it, this is very funny because if you look at his posts, he, posts two, he posted two videos. One of them has 2.8 million impressions. The other one has 40,000 impressions. So he paid for one to get a lot more reach, but the feedback has, of course, been mocking him. But the odd part was is that the video shows him being mocked 
and corrected by people in the video. Check this out. He asks people who they're voting for, pretending, of course, that he's better than them in typical left-wing liberal CNN fashion. He comes from CNN. And the proof of that is that he posted this, that he thought this was a W. He thought that he's so markedly better than everyone in this video who said that, he's, that they're not voting for the person he wants them to vote for, that he would post this as a dunk on them. So he posted his own humiliation due to the fact that he wars with reality. We're here in Jersey, Atlantic City. Who do you support? Trump. I, I plead the fifth. Trump for the win. But tell me why. I can't really call that right now, but I just feel like she's not good for president. She's good. Yeah, obviously. Vice, but not for the actual lead role for the country. Does it have anything to do with being a woman? No. <laughs> the immediate reversion to identity in Marxism. Oh, she's a woman. She's one of the protected groups. Remember, it used to be bourgeoisie versus proletariat. The capitalist class, the property owners versus the working class. And that's where the resentment was, was based from. Now it's based on sexual identity, gender, sexual proclivity, and race. Those are the groups that give you automatic virtue points, automatic status. And similarly, those are the same groups that allow you to say you're oppressed. And if you get to say you're oppressed, you get to be a good person. So that's why when this kid said, I'm voting for Trump, he immediately reverted to, so you must not be voting for the other person because of an identity category that Marxism insists would victimize her, therefore making her a good person. Not asking him why, not even entertaining the entire conceptual framework of maybe women are not as good at leading due to psychological properties and distributions, which is backed up by such an enormous mountain of data, it's quite literally tens of thousands of pages. Mm -mm. No, because I feel like women, mm, nah, you're not gonna give me that. Your money's on here. Yeah. Who do you want? Trump. Why don't you like Harris? Oh, uh, she don't have any experience. Uh, she's she's the her experience was a blatant violation of competence hierarchies if you know her past. I'm not going to say her past here on YouTube because it could get flagged. And literally talk about all the things that they do, if you know what I mean, for hours at a time on podcasts. But when men talk about it, it's oppression. Oh my gosh, you're oppressing me. Of course, the double standard based on identity, again, the Marxist ideology manifesting itself. But it's also interesting to see that the person that the left selected to embody their ideology was somebody who mocks, perverts, and corrupts competence hierarchies by getting her positions by ill-gotten gains. Vice president, she's a she, senator. Yeah, no, no experience, no, no, no. She had no experience. Well, I want Donald Trump, I just- He thought that he won there, but the guy's completely correct. I feel we need somebody that has a stronger background with the military and the world in general. She was a prosecutor and an attorney general and a senator and a vice president. You're in a gambling town. Who's your money on? I'm going to support the Democratic Party, but I mean, Trump looked like he, he got it in the bag right now. Four years ago, it was a lot better. I made a lot more money than I do now. And this, this one's really insane. This one's really insane because in a completely psychopathic display, Don Lemon tries to tell this guy you're actually better off now under Kamala economically, which is just a, a, above anything else, beyond the antisocial aspects, just an admission that they're forced to say the opposite of the truth. Any person that is not lobotomized knows the economy's worse. Inflation is above 50%. It's next to impossible to buy groceries for less than $100. And so the only people that say the opposite of the truth to that extent, saying that we're in a good spot, are admitting not just that they're ideologically captured and possessed, but that they've been chained to the lies of the left-wing ideology for years. And so to say anything against the radical left would just be way too crushing because they'd have to admit they've been lying for years. That, that's the only way you get somebody to say something like this. Check it out. Now. I know you feel that way, but that's not actually what the record shows. <laughs> I know you feel that way, but I actually am telling you what your economic state is in. Psychopathic. The economy is actually better under Biden. <laughs> no, I'm serious. What, what? That's what the fact just is. laughing is the correct response at that point. Just laughing at him is correct. Watch so. CNN. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. So oh, and the guy says, you watch CNN. <laughs> this guy was on CNN as an anchor. And now he's peddling himself on X, getting only 40,000 views after coming from CNN and writing multiple books, manifesting a psychopathic state in public, on the street, thinking that he's taking W's while posting his own humiliation and proof of his ideological capture. It's not because I watch CNN. Trump or Harris? Trump. That's who's gonna win. That's who's gonna win. Who do you support? I support Trump. All the people that came to this country legally, it's not fair that- This guy's base. They're letting all 10,000 to 15,000 people or 20,000 people here illegally. Have you seen San Diego? Yeah. They're coming to- they're coming San Diego is destroyed along with many other um, liberal blue cities. I mean, LA's almost there, but countless cities in California and other blue areas are basically unlivable. They're almost unlivable. Off the boats, off the water right here, off the ocean. Did you, did you know Biden was flying them in? Did you know Biden was flying them in? Did you, you didn't know that? What and instead you... of acknowledging the reality, this guy just laughs 
Adam, again, manifesting a psychopathic state. The reason I keep saying psychopathic state is because to believe your ideology is more important than objective reality, just as the left believes that their ideology is more important than competence, which is a reflection of objective reality, is psychopathic by nature. Because reality doesn't make itself in the image of an ideology. It manifests itself objectively. So fundamentally, the presuppositions of postmodern neo-Marxism are psychopathic. Biden was flying them in? Did you, you didn't know that? What do you Canadians think about what's going on here? We think you're all nuts. We're just watching from afar and just enjoying the show. I gotta get out of Atlantic City. Where are we going to next? This delusional guy who lied nonstop for years on CNN thinks that he's right after posting this video. That's the extent of the ideological possession. Guys, when I say they're at war with truth, I'm not speaking hyperbolically. I'm making a literal statement. Their enemy is reality. Their enemy is coherence. Their enemy is objectivity and reason. And I've explained the architecture of this in countless videos. But the summary of it is that postmodern neo-Marxism denies the existence of category. It says that any notion of objectivity manifesting itself as rationality, reason, or logic are all oppressive mechanisms of the patriarchy and are therefore corrupt and tyrannical. They want to make reality in the image of their ideology, basically. And they're driven ultimately by resentment as they're constantly being proven wrong, given that reality wins, not their ideology. This is the current state of the Democrat Party.